welcome back to the episode of Lost Day Order Survival. Hopefully, you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day of the most amazing variety. Me, I'm a little bit concerned because I logged in. I saw a dead deer. I collected the dead deer. Now, there are two very angry looking raiders just chilling at my base but besides that and we're gonna get to the bottom of whatever's going on over there we do have a floppy disk and some red ticket crates to open on up along with a revenge raid to go on today so hopefully we don't get like kidnapped by these guys which is kind of what i'm expecting so we're gonna go confront them and toodles how you guys doing you'd better hurry why do you want me to hurry what have i done to you give raiders loot okay so by the looks of it i believe what they want is like they think that i have killed the deer lads i can tell you right now i have not killed the deer this thing was just dead over here it looks like my dog is a, i think my dog may have killed it. it looks like he's freaking eating that deer alive but uh yeah so there's kind of two main options you can do when these guys come around you can give them loot or you can attack them and i think you guys know the one that we're gonna go for so uh oh yo hello they're not happy they're not happy no 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 back it up 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 all righty then <laughs> well we got some angry looking raiders Whoop! Okay, they're trying to like hit me or something. Are they, is, I don't think this is the kidnappers event though, because I think the kidnappers event just kind of like show up at some random point and are like, "Hello, we are kidnapping you now." So I, I don't think that that's that. This might just be something completely different. But I do have something, a little little thing that I want to do over here. Get on over here, raiders! I got a little treat for you guys. Please don't hit me too hard because, uh, oh ho ho! ho. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. We are gonna trap the raiders. How dare you try and come to my base? Take my loot. Uh, well, even though technically maybe it may have been your dear. Take my stuff. This will not fly. Not in my book. So welcome to my brand new constructed prison. That guy may or may not be stuck. I don't know if that guy's stuck in there, but we're just gonna try and uh, hopefully see if we can't get these fellers stuck inside. Are you guys looking stuck? Uh, oh yeah, baby. That guy's literally within a wall, so he's he's uh. Ow, oh, he's kind of hurting me a little bit there. Uh, yeah, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed. Oh my goodness gracious, to get these schmucks stuck. That's what you get, raiders, for trying to come and attack me. So I, I mean. I'd rather have some prisoners, you know, I wonder how long these dudes will stick around, so we'll come and revisit them at the late later on in the episode and see if they're still uh, schmucking about. Uh, these guys, we do need to see, gotta finish a little bit more recycling, I actually have a weapon recycling right now, so hopefully we'll have a raid coming in through that, but uh, hey, you guys, enjoy your time over there, don't get too comfy, I will return, I'm not too, like, in a rush to kill them because they don't, like, drop anything special, ow! <laughs> Freaking, he's trying to hit me on the way out. They don't drop anything special on the way out or anything like that. They're pretty pretty normal loot drop, really. It's just kind of like they drop their armor and some of their weapon. And player 7566 is going to be today's designated schmuck. But uh, there you guys have today's event, at least so far. Like I'm saying, we, we just got some loot to collect. And then we'll, we'll go back, revisit them, say hello, and see how they are doing. But hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fan-freaking-tastic. Hopefully you're having an amazing Sunday. I am a little bit. I'm a little bit sad. A little bit happy, though. It's 50-50. Why, Star? Why are you happy said well on one hand spring break is ending on the other hand spring break is ending star this doesn't answer any of our questions okay it, it'll all make sense in a little bit of a second because as you guys know we've been sounding a little bit different in the past week's worth of videos that week has been spring break also today's bunker code we already have our bunker code put in but it is 90805 at the time of me checking it if that's out of date by the time you are trying to put it in make sure to check that comment section down below phone up today version brought to you by the fan freaking fantastic community here at the snipe gang and if you do not see it down below you could be the fan freaking fantastic glad to lassie to toss it down there and help out anyone who may be in need of that marvelous little sequence of nombres but back to what we were saying hopefully you guys are having a freaking awesome sunday yourselves i'd love to hear maybe what's going on how your weekend's been if you got any cool plans coming up hopefully i know some of you guys might yourselves be going on spring break here pretty soon so hopefully you guys have a pretty cool one or if like me you had spring break over the past week hopefully it was a very cool one and nothing but the most fan freaking fantastic one imaginable that only kept on getting better better and better because man listen even though we have been recording off my laptop we've been using a different microphone all of which we're gonna go back to the setup from like a week ago where we sounded way better I, I can't really tell if the video looks different at all hopefully I, I mean i imagine let's freaking go and we got a c4 
That's what I like to see because we got some raiding to get done today. We're also going to go ahead and equip uh, this new set of SWAT armor. We will come back for the rest of the SWAT armor. No need to worry. I'm not going to leave that behind. But I do just kind of want to prioritize some of the things we got right here. Sorry about the burps there and right now. I also maybe... I'll, I'll, I'll put those away. Those raiders, even if they kill me, they're not getting their meat and hide back. All right. That's the last thing I want to give back to them. But uh, like I was saying, we are going to be back. I'm actually driving back up. I'm recording this in the morning. This video will last day on Earth. And then we are having a drive back up to college or down. I don't know which direction it is. We're driving in some direction back to college. And that is where we have kind of like the little studio set up, which has the significantly better microphone that actually has like a super dope audio setup going. Obviously, we're recording off our PC. It's just significantly better of a setup. And uh, yeah, I'm super excited to get back to that because the mic I got to use now, like it's not the worst in the world, but it is just kind of quiet sometimes. I've seen you guys commenting that and stuff. So I'm just very sorry about that. That will be getting corrected ASAP and no need to worry hello maybe we will go to airdrop really quickly too or maybe we go to airdrop after yeah let's go to airdrop after we go home because the airdrops on the west side of the map and that's kind of where we need to go for that airdrop over there anyway so we'll knock out a couple of birds with one stone but so uh, yeah that's why i'm really excited it does suck because spring break's over but it's gonna be great to be back on the usual video grind at the proper setup where editing's a lot easier recording's a lot easier everything's a lot easier and we should be going back up to two videos a day and the streams will resume as well over on dlive.tv slash star snipe link in the description if you have not already gone there already are these dudes still trapped uh oh they're doing something what what are you doing mate are you here you are we've been waiting for you you have what's going on ow don't hurt me okay they broke free they definitely broke free they were not happy that i left i need to get you schmuck stuck again oh my goodness gracious all right i need to destroy our capsule over here used to encapsulate them let's 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 do take two over here dear mama I was not expecting that. Oh, I wonder if I could get them to, like, run over on this side. No, they're running over on this side. Come on, boys and girls, right here, right now. Barrel roll. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Don't follow me. Beautiful. Now we should be able to get both of them nice and stuck into here. We're going to surround them in windows, by the way, and they're going to be my prized possession. Although they're probably just going to be salty again next time that I reappear. They're probably just going to keep on being salty or whatnot. But let's just kind of clear the way around them. Uh, so we could properly bask in the beauty of having some raiders <laughs> just chilling at our base. That's what you get if you try to raid me, mate. You guys get the short end of the shtick. Hello, how you boys? Whoop, doing? Okay, they appear to be doing pretty... Oh my god, they got some range on those hits. They appear to be doing pretty fine, but uh, let's just get a uh, extended view outwards. There they are. Hello, raiders. Hope you guys are enjoying that little box. I might toss you a food scrap or something like that. Did you take anything out of my pickup truck? Okay, good, because I very specifically have some weapons and aluminum there for the raiders to steal from me. Not you schmucks, but the raiders that actually leave footprints so we can get our stuff back. Our puppy looks like it freaking, it's done with that deer. It devoured the rest of it, dear mama. And with a little bit of inventory management nice and done, you guys can see that we kind of put all that stuff we got from the red ticket crate away. Shouts out to the red ticket crate for the hospitality. Now we have a loot crate of the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the airdrop the floppy disk variety we also are up to three c4 and if all goes well that might go up to like this might be the highest c4 total we've ever had at five which is gonna be awesome uh oh ow don't hurt me too bad <laughs> Was not expecting that. But then we will also be returning to those fellers in just a minute as well. We'll see if they manage to break free from my prison yet again. If they're just going to reappear. If they're going to disappear. Whatever it might be. And ooh, baby, baby. We got a rest stop to grab on the way to our super dope airdrop up there. So that's some fun times as well. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, hope you guys have a great weekend. All I know is that spring break is over. It's been a nice little break. But it's going to be awesome to get back into streaming. DLive.tv slash Starsnipe every Monday, Wednesday. Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time and Saturdays at 1 p.m. Central Time. DLive.tv slash Starsnipe should be one of the links in the description. There should also be a link in the pinned comment. Should be links all over the place. So make sure that you guys are following us over there and create an account if you have not already. As a little bit of a heads up, we're playing all sorts of games over there. And we're going to be using the Sawblade Mace to chop some dudes in half. I can see you. I can see you as well. Ho, ho, ho. A goodbye to you, my friend. Okay, let's make sure to not get taken out by that slow-mo. And 
take that schmuck out. Goodbye to that chopper event. Hello to the loot you had in store for me, my friend. That dude, he's in a freaking like yoga position or something. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> freaking goofus. All right, I'll leave up. I'll leave behind the SWAT armor that's in like super bad uh, durability position, whatever. But the rest of this stuff, we will be grabbing and having a fun time with. We got a weapon crate with a pistol. No complaints here. I'm pretty happy with that one. And then over here in this chopper, we have no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. Oh, we got some goods as well. But we can't get too attached to these goods because we are going to that other airdrop that may very well be even doper than these by a significant margin and also another thing we should do is get ready to spread some vitamin p oh yeah let's bless our own motorcycle over here it's getting a little bit rusty we all know vitamin p's are the perfect vitamin to get rid of rust <laughs> am i right uh but whatchamacall then we will be using this to siphon up some gas but as we are doing that like i'm saying let me know how you guys this weekend has been what you guys are thinking of this raider deer event that we have managed to not this not this uh chopper one but the event where we got some people jumping us back at home how the events have been treating you guys what's the coolest event you guys have done from this new update so far and maybe which event you kind of like think is the coolest so far as we continue checking them out any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below along with any other interesting things you guys might want to see us do whenever we might get any future events or interesting things you guys might want to see us do with the active skill mod since as you know we are recycling our way hopefully as well as we can towards uh okay i'll just leave this gas with us for the future but we are trying to pretty much recycle our way to get all the parts we can because we i believe we have all the new active skill mods unlocked so we're going to start constructing those when we have the capabilities obviously we have the saw blade mace and the bayonet already and you guys actually told me the bayonet is a little bit better than i thought it was because the bayonet's ability is that it doesn't it isn't affected by armor which once you guys pointed that out i'm like okie dokie hold the artichoke bro things just got cereal because that means that that bayonet knife could be used in a variety of interesting situations and we also learned that the baseball bat's special ability like after it starts making an enemy bleed that isn't affected by armor either and to go along with that i think the flare gun as well its special ability where it does that five damage over time also is not affected by that special ability what does that mean or by any armor what does that mean i think that means that there could be some very cool enemies we could take down that otherwise might be close to impossible you know enemies that we can't normally damage potentially because the reason that enemies are not damageable is because they have armor but if the bayonet can avoid armor if the baseball bat special ability where the bleeding effect if that isn't affected by armor and then to go along with it all we still have the flare gun which i believe is in a similar situation it saw blade oh my god that's never gonna get old i love the saw blade mason i can't wait to get some other attachments for it and over here we got a normal looking airdrop we'll go ahead and get to pop and open and we're getting two c4 out of this but the question is can we also get a scar or a grenade launcher some of the best gun loot available that this thing can give us no way no way no way let's freaking end of the ss okay this is a good day i am feeling good today oh -ho -ho -ho. this is one of if not the best that we have ever opened i'm putting that out there right here right now a vss and a grenade launcher that does not happen every day our luck is good that has me excited for today's raid too we got some good stuff coming up. We got... It's, you guys have seen how the day's been. You, you guys see the way that the day's going. All this fan freaking fantastic jazz. But like I'm saying, let me know how you guys' day is going and all that type of jazz. Anything you guys might want to see. Anything and everything like that in that comment section. It's down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one a third of the way into Wiki Tribe. That'll I do touch place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure like button make sure subscribe that will let you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be what up for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as soon as anything new comes out not to mention as, as soon as they type a new update itself does come out as well i'm just gonna feast on these beans we'll come back for this because this thing this event's around for 12 hours guys just because we don't grab something now doesn't mean we're not coming back for it we're coming back for it. There's, there's some pretty pretty nice things to be had in this airdrop and definitely some nice things i want to come back for including some lenses like oh 
Today's been a good day. I will just leave it at that. Let's see if the Raiders are back at home, too. That's another thing that might decide how good this day has been. But, uh, yeah, as soon as any new update does come out, we're diving headfirst into it, showcasing off everything that it has to offer, just as we are continuing to do here, showing all the new seven days events that were added in within the last update. We're obviously going to be kicking off and showcasing more of those active skill mods. And given the unique abilities some of those active skill mods possess, I'm already scheming up a couple of really cool ideas. Don't want to spoil them. I've already seen some pretty cool comments from you guys as well that have served as an inspiration so shouts out to you guys for being so active for just spurring a discussion because i love reading through what you guys got to say and some of the suggestions you guys got for what you want to see i i got some ideas of my own cooking inspiration from y'all we got some quality videos coming up for your lots and lasses that i think you will thoroughly enjoy but uh yeah that notification bell is gonna be a great way to stay up to date with those quality videos with any future updates with any future info about future updates to stay as in the loop as possible as we break down that info break down each update what it brings what's worth going after new locations new events new bosses new anything it doesn't matter to me new active skill mods i don't know why i'm making a grata -ta -ta noise but that saw blade mace just whoo that special ability is flames man absolutely flames and what do we have up in here in the airdrop we got ta 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 ta, -ta. okie dokie artichoke i like what we got out of this one the question is what am i leaving behind because uh okay why don't we just try and kill a couple zombies here use the rest of this pistol before it completely breaks because it's literally on the brink of being broken and we have like a, a good amount of other pistols with us from whatchamacallit the airdrop and from the red ticket crate so there we go i just want that to break because i do want to pick up the saw blade mace because as you guys know <laughs> the new active skill mod for the Sawblade Maze makes it quite as a fun combination. <laughs> uh, six iron ingots, you will be left behind. A light blade. Ah, uh, that's, that's a common blueprint. And you guys do not understand. We have a lot of common blueprints stockpiled. We probably have, like, maybe close to ten of that one in particular from... All of our rare blueprint unboxings in our quest to get all of the active skill mods because I do not care how much it pains me, my heart, and as, as well my wallet because blueprint packs do cost money, unfortunately, for me and, <laughs> and my dollar dues. But, uh, whatchamacallit, they ain't gonna stop me from trying to get all these active skill mods to showcase them to you guys what they got and have a fan freaking fantastic time throughout. But the question now is are there are did these schmucks break free because if so we just got to kill them at a certain point and i have a saw blade mace that's more than ready to do that are y'all free are, are y'all hello oh they're not in their box anymore they are they're looking pretty angry by okay if they're just gonna keep on climbing through the windows when i'm not looking we gotta deal with these dudes right here and right now how will that happen well uh, I'm gonna get an AK. I want to shank these dudes with my knife to showcase again because they do have some armor So we will not we will not be doing like full damage to them with any hits, but 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 The bayonet should be doing the full AK damage. We have it set out for so let's uh, let's get you mr. Bad boy bad boy nice and going over here with the what is it bayonets oh, ho, ho. not as fun as the grenade launcher but the bayonet definitely serves its purpose so we're gonna be shanking some people and sawing them in half hope you boys and girls are ready for this one this is what you get schmuck miggies okay there you go you guys see one bullet does 14 damage but the shank does a full 16 making it a little bit better for us and then oh no get back here he's running away all right, well, that dude ran away, so off eater saying, my friend, it was fun dealing with you. <laughs> uh, he's got, oh, actually, I will take this baseball bat. You know why? We got to turn this in for our, uh, what should we call Our one, uh, I think it is active skill mod for the baseball bat, which I really do want to get. It's the one I was explaining that does, like, bleeding damage. Let's, uh, is it this one over here? Yes, 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 yes. We got to invest some baseball bats into that. So let's really quickly do that. But we just got to go ahead and do a little bit of cleanup crew over here. Put this stuff away. I'm a little bit worried because that other raider did say he'll be back. So I don't know if he's going to come back and try to, like, kidnap us or something. Uh, 
we will definitely see. That is something to keep our eyes and ears peeled upon. And with those last few things we had chilled within our chopper nice and safely tucked away, it is time for us to craft up the level one hatchets. We are going to be needing for today's raid in addition to all the high explosive fun we already have some access to. And speaking of fun, if you guys want to stay tuned for a fun time, as we were saying, that notification bell will be a great way of doing exactly that. Stay in the loop with, whoop, okay, we had to just kind of skip daddle our way through that little crack but stay in the loop with every single video y'all can enter and on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that we are obviously going to be having a fun time with and enjoying rather thoroughly but player 7566 it's time for me to enjoy the contents of your base and that's what's going to be going on but we got the life after series we got westland survival and we got some other survival games always up and coming that we're keeping our eyes and ears peeled upon and trying to dive into asap and show case when the time does come but for now i think yeah guys and girls know what i want to showcase and that is our daily raid of the day and ooh, piece of candy it appears that part of his base can i just get off my bike mate is that mate just let me off my freaking bike there we go uh what type of base is this this says it looks like we're gonna actually need some okay this is a pretty interesting base we have fandangled our way into over here actually a pretty big one oh mama okay so i might need to grab some iron hatchets from my inbox from uh whatchamacallit that we got left over to break into some of those uh wooden walls but it looks like there's a good amount of stone as well so now the question becomes, where do we try and break and enter into this lade, lade, lade? And all right, boys and girls, I think it's pretty obvious where we're going to want to start our breaking and entering. And that's going to be within one of the weaker points that this wall has to offer. Because I believe this base is kind of like a three-layered cake, to put it in the most interesting terms imaginable. And check it out. You can actually do this raid if you play your cards right. Literally with one iron hatchet and one C four to get to the good loot room and you're gonna want to kind of place that c4 around this area which god dang you to go ahead and grab that c4 but uh, there are ways that you could do this raid and unnecessarily waste c4 but there's actually a very efficient way of doing it which i should be able to showcase to you guys right about here and now we'll also get rid of that last little bottle of water and just make sure that we only have gas chilling up in there so hopefully here's the thing because of all these walls and stuff it is also going to take the big one a bit of a second to get to us in the end so let's toss that c4 down over that way bada bing bada boom and we are into the goods and oh baby we already got ourselves some oak and other nice things to go along with it but this is the interior this is what you want to make your way into goodbye to you Hopefully we have that soft lid base ready to go for the big boys that are going to be trying to get us here in just a second. We'll hit this fella here with the slow mo, and then we should have that other one coming after us here in just one moment. But yeah, this is a very efficient way of breaking into this base. Otherwise, you just need to break through that little wall. First things first, break through that little like wooden wall that we showed you. Oof, big hits to that fella, and a feature saying to you. But uh, what you call? You want to break through that wooden wall first and foremost. That's going to be the cheapest way of getting into the first layer that this base has to offer and then after that comes where you need to use the c4 on one of these walls over here we used it on this one because that also ends up breaking this chest which had some decent stuff in it you don't have to break that chest though that's up to you but if there is a chest that you break you want to make sure that you are breaking this chest right over here as well because let's freaking go that's what i like to see give me the baked beans and water and all of those freaking medical kits. Woo! We are walking out of this raid very profitable. We are going to have enough first aid kits to start our own dang army. Whenever that mercenaries event comes in, which mm, I cannot wait to have after this next update, which is going to be introducing the multiplayer groups. As we know, after that, some sort of a freaking event is going to be coming into play where it has something to do with mercenaries. We still don't 100% know what's, but mercenaries will be involved we might be able to like hire them and like potentially have them as like companions which is kind of what i'm crossing my fingers for or maybe we do quests for them in a mercenary fashion that's absolutely ruthless whatever it is we went over that a couple episodes ago but uh yeah that one's gonna be looking pretty fuego pretty flames just like this chest we broke into and we got more chests to break into as well so let's get to the bottom of this we got a smorgasbord of chests to break into that is 
the food chest by the looks of it. So thank you very much. We should also have some very angry enemies coming our way here. Any moment now, this has a whole ton of jack squatting. Hello, and goodbye to you. Let's take out the rest of your running minions. And then, oh, I see the big boy coming. What a floater, floater. Goodbye, floater, floater. And once your buddy comes, my saw blade should be regenerated. But I'm really hoping that the big one spawns on, like, the north side of the map. Because then to get to us through this maze and labyrinth of walls that we have pretty much created... It's not the biggest maze or labyrinth, but still, it's like a decent little maze of labyrinthness. Uh, what should we call? Hopefully, it'll take the big one a second to the point where we could open up every single chest. I think that that would be the most ideal scenario. But without a doubt, man, this is a pretty nice raid to break into. And uh, like I'm saying, you play your cards right. It's gonna take you one C4. You're gonna be a happy camper, cause I'm. <laughs> I don't know. I, I ain't got a face cam on this video, but. Oh, I am smiling, and oh, some meat. I could give that to the Raiders if they ever come back. I'll be like, hey, I got you guys' meat you were looking for. Here you go. I, I got it all, all here in one place. Uh, let's go and continue breaking through these things. This one should summon the last wave of enemies coming our way, and this has eh, a couple of things here or there. We'll break through these last two chests, and then we got five chests over there in a row. We pretty much, let's freaking go. That's the goods we wanted, and some copper that we got to break into, too. We're going to get rid of these fast dudes just right now with the pistol drizzle. And then we'll go to the big boys with the saw blade mace. He's a little bit of the gratatata. I don't know why I make the gratatata noise. Anytime it's a, oh my goodness gracious, it's a conga line. This is not looking good. Oh, sweet baby Madeline. Sweet home Carolina. Whatever sweetness you want. Oh, 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 oh the phone, hold the phone, hold the freaking dough. Okay, 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 okay. We just got to... <laughs> Let's get a little bit of separation from these dudes. I was not expecting them to be, like, stacked all up on each other. There we go. We got some hits over there. And uh, we probably got to... Yeah, we got to go freaking melee mode to finish some of these dudes off. Not a fan of that, but float like a butterfly, stink like a beam, mother trucker, you son of a biscuit eater. Get over here and give me some of those biscuits myself, because I... Some biscuits do actually sound pretty delicious right now. I could... I could definitely go for some biscuits. I wish I was a son of a biscuit eater, man. That'd be dope. Cause, well, no, because then my, my father, the biscuit eater, he'd always be eating the biscuits. I would never acquire a biscuit in my lifetime again. That'd be sad. I'd be a pretty sad lad, you know? Uh, okay, here's where the going gets a little bit tricky, too. Ooh, there's our weaponry back. Um, so we're going to be able to chop up a couple of these. But this hatch is going to be breaking, like, pretty quickly here. Which is kind of... Yeah, that thing's already broken. So we got one hit off on that. Uh, <laughs> we can't really craft any more. And honestly, I don't really know how much I want to craft anything else. Because, like, look at our inventory. We are kitted right now. We're walking out of here with hundreds of first aid kits. Always a W in my book. Because if you get this raid for the cost of one C4... You ain't got to worry about medical supplies for a nifty little while, which is never a bad thing. And, I mean, we got our guns back. We're walking out of here with two electronic circuits, some red tickets, some other jazz. Speaking of which, I'll put those away for safekeeping. We got some band-aids. We got some other jazz. Uh, so, I suppose, I suppose the question is... Because here's the thing. Uh, the big one will appear. But the thing is, is there wood here? Oh, there is. So, we could actually just craft our own stuff or... Uh, I might just grab some iron hatchets, man. All right, boys. Two iron hatchets is all that I had left in my inventory. So just enough. But I was kind of hoping to save these for a future endeavor when we might desperately need them. I don't know how desperately we need them right now. Because, like, this raid is already, uh, I don't know if I'd say 10 out of 10. But it's pretty freaking good, my dude. I cannot complain. We should have more than enough to break into all these chests. So the question just becomes, what do we grab when the panic ensues? And that's going to be a great question. So I'm going to get rid of you, Partially Broken Thang. And I will leave... Ah, uh, oh, there's so many things I want to grab. Worst case, worse, I will come back for the stack of whiskey for copper ore. I'm sorry. You're just for... That, that's like a copper bar, though. I will make a game time decision between those two to replace my hatchet with, with if there's nothing good. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to going. We're going to get to going. We're going to get to going. The going is about to get fogly, 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 fogly. Oh, I hear the big one's trampling. He's not very happy. We got a whole ton of stone over there. We got a whole ton of iron over there. We got a whole ton of nothing over there. We got a whole ton of wood over there. We got a whole ton of AK over there. Oh, mama. Okay. We want to come back for that AK. And I think I saw oak planks there, too, unless I'm crazy. I might be. Who knows? Mate, get out of the way. Your boys got to go. Oh, oh, oh. We got to get the hell out of Dodge. Oh, hit him with the ukes. Beautiful, beautiful. Going to get some separation here. And then 
We gotta book it. There are two items that we definitely want to grab. Okay. Now the question becomes, what do we drop instead of those items? And the answer is, I, I don't know, guys. I am a little bit concerned right now. <laughs> I don't want to leave anything behind. I love everything we got from this raid. This raid has been good raid. Why must I leave things behind? Don't do this to me, game. But I know that game do this to me, and that makes me sad camper. Ah! Okay, so that's gotta go. I'm sorry, pile of meat. I thought me and you had a future. We really connected, you know? We really had a great, great time there, but you're not the pile of meat for me. I'm, I'm very sorry to say. <laughs> we'll use up one of those band-aids and okie dokie, hunky dory. Let's hope. Okay, so what was it? I think it was the top chest that we're looking for. I, I don't. I think it was the top chest. That the two things that we need to grab. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. This is about to get ugly, 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 ugly. Come on, come on. Load in. Load in. Load in. We ain't got a lot of time. There's a very angry big one coming after my bootay. And I do not like that one bit. Let's barrel roll our way over to victory. Come on. No women. No women. No women. No women. No women. No women. No. I think we should have enough time. I don't know why I'm stressing super hard. That dude has a maze and a half to go through. Give me the oak. Give me the gun. And get me the hell out of here. I do not want to deal with these shenanigans at the moment. No, 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 today. Okay, so the big one is going to be coming around that way, which is when we skedaddle on over this way. Get yuked, boy! And with that great escape, what better time than now to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Earth. The survival is what was some high-octane raid in action. Plenty of good loot for the low cost of 1c4. And a decent amount of hatchets, and also the last iron hatchets I had chilling in my inbox for hopefully an emergency. I, we got an AK out of it. Good enough emergency, if you ask me, because we recovered our AK that we gave to the Raiders to get this base in the first place. But with that said and with that done, that's going to go ahead and start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.